Jurors deliberating the fate of Terry Thompson. He is accused of killing John Hernandez in the parking lot of a Denny's restaurant near Crosby. After the prosecution rested today, the defense did not offer up any new witnesses, which meant the jurors got their instructions and then heard two hours of closing arguments. Reporter Ryan Korsgaard has been in court every day since this trial began. He's joining us live just outside the courtroom. Ryan, any word from jurors yet? Uh, not yet. In fact, jurors got this case about two hours ago. They are sequestered. The judge said that they will work as late as they want tonight. Family and friends of John Hernandez pray outside court. Just moments earlier, they watched as jurors got the case against Terry Thompson. He is accused of killing Jasmine Hernandez's brother. If they let him free, he can do that to somebody else, to another family, to someone else. During closing arguments, prosecutor Jules Johnson said Thompson was on top of John Hernandez until there was nothing left inside of him. What do you think he intends when you put him in a chokehold? What did you think was going to happen? Defense attorney Scott Courtney said Hernandez was drunk, drove with his daughter in the car, then punched Thompson in the eye. He said Thompson had to stop Hernandez. Once Terry Thompson initially defended himself, that's what he had right there. He had the tiger by the tail. Therefore, if you find the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt... Judge Kelly Johnson told jurors that they had four options. Find Terry Thompson not guilty or find him guilty of murder, manslaughter, or criminally negligent homicide. KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss said the other two guilty options are usually at the request of the defense. Not this time. The decision to charge this defendant with murder may ultimately have been a bridge too far. For the jury to believe that this defendant is guilty of the top count of the indictment, they essentially have to believe beyond a reasonable doubt that Terry Thompson intended to cause Mr. Hernandez's death. Weiss also tells me he believes this will take some time. If you look right back here, you can see a lot of people have gathered, and they are waiting for a verdict, a verdict in this case. Again, it could be some time. We will let you know what happens on air as well as online. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.